Hi, welcome to another video from EasyAG on VAT. Hope you are aware that the Federal Tax Authority is launching a new integrated platform, MRA Tax, which is replacing the existing e-service portal. The new MRA Tax platform will be more specific to the taxpayer and will enhance the way taxpayer access to the services offered by the FTA. Some of the key features of this new MRA tax is that it is very user friendly and will be very easier to use. It will enhance the experience the taxpayer receives from the services offered by the Federal Tax Authority. It has more self service options with more tutorials and videos and guides which will help the taxpayer to, to help himself to understand and ensure the compliances. It is having an additional feature of real-time dashboard to follow the service requests made by the taxpayer to the authority. In this video, we are explaining some of the key features of the new integrated platform MRFX. Firstly, there, are, there is a new login page introduced for the MR tax, which will have multiple login options, login with your email or login with your Emirates ID. Login with Emirates ID is connected with the UA pass. For the existing e-service user, they can continue login with the existing user ID, but will have an option to reset the password. And another key feature of the MR attacks is user can select the user type like a taxable person, legal representative, tax agent, tax agency and the services will be specific for each user. Once you log in, you will be seeing an entirely new home page which is different from the e-service portal. In this page, towards the left hand side, you will get the user type under that you can see the options like VAT, excise tax, payments, my correspondence, user authorization and other services. These tabs will help us to quickly go to the required services. Similarly, in the main page, you can see the registration overview showing the value added tax or uh, tax group, uh, excise tax, warehouse keeper and other tabs which will help you to quickly access to the required area and if you go into the actions you will be able to view or edit amend deregister or print certificate which provide the user to go directly to the required services similarly one key highlight of this mr tax is that most used services are shown towards the right hand side of the screen which will be helpful for the user to directly go to that services. Similarly, required actions are also shown in the screen which will pop up the VAT returns or access returns pending or other actions to be taken by the taxpayer. If you go to the VAT tab, you will be able to access the VAT returns and refunds. In that you will be able to view my filings for the VAT returns and VAT 311 for the VAT refunds. These tabs can be used for viewing your previously submitted returns or refunds or to create a new refund or return. The VAT return form 201 is similar to the one in the previous e-services portal. But there is a new feature to submit the VAT return offline in which the user can prepare the VAT return in offline in the Excel template provided by the MRA tax and it can be uploaded directly into the VAT return. So once you import the data all the fields of the VAT return will be updated and it can be used to submit the VAT return. My payments. Under my payments, there is a very significant change that is introduced in MRA tax with respect to the previous e-service portal. 
For making all GIBAN payments, first you should pre-select or allocate the payment against the required liabilities. Once you do this, you will be receiving a reference number which has to be used while making the GIBAN payment. So, after filing return, you have to make this allocation or select the required liability and you should obtain the reference number and this number has to be used while making the online transfer or making the payment through the exchange houses etc. With this new system, it will avoid the confusion of making the payment against the tax liability first or against the penalties etc. Here the responsibility of selecting the payment or allocating the payment is with the taxpayer. There will be also option for the taxpayer to make the payment in advance by selecting as advance against a particular return. Another new feature in the MRA tax is the tab My Correspondence. This will provide the user to have references for all the communication or correspondence which is made with the FTA. A real-time status of each uh, queries or request or correspondence will be reflected there. User authorization. This is another key feature introduced in MRA tax. This helps the taxpayer to manage the user authorizations and to provide uh, authority to a tax agent or another person like an employee to access his portal and submit VAT returns or other services. Other services. This is another feature introduced in the MRA tax which will help the tax user to view all the other requirements like inquiries, complaints, waivers, penalty installment plan, reconsideration, everything under different tabs. It will help the user to have a quick access to uh, follow up what is the status of the inquiry or to raise a new inquiry or to put a service request for waiver of penalty, etc. With this new integrated platform, MRA Tax, a taxpayer can access all specific services and enhance the VAT compliances. Hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more videos. If you have any queries or need any support, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.